The James Webb Space Telescope is a cosmic wonder and it has made some incredible discoveries in the infrared universe. One of its main goals is to confirm the expansion of the universe by observing the redshift of distant galaxies. But what is the dead shift and how does it relate to the Big Bang Theory? You are watching Luminary Cosmos. In this video, we will answer these questions and more and show you how the James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new window into the history and destiny of the universe. So make sure to watch this video till the end and do not forget to subscribe Luminary Cosmos. The Big Bang Theory is the most widely accepted scientific explanation for the origin and evolution of the universe. It states that the universe began with a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature that exploded and expanded rapidly about 13.8 billion years ago. Since then, the universe has been expanding and cooling down, creating the cosmic structures and phenomena that we observe today. One of the main pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory is the redshift of galaxies. The redshift is a phenomenon that occurs when the light from an object is stretched by the expansion of space, making it appear redder than it actually is. The more distant the object, the more redshifted its light is, indicating that it is moving away from us faster. This is consistent with the idea that the universe is expanding and that the further away a galaxy is, the faster it is receding from us. The redshift of galaxies was first observed by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s using the 100-inch Hooker telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. He measured the distances and velocities of several nearby galaxies and found that they were proportional to each other. This means that the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it is moving away from us. This is known as Hubble's law and it implies that the universe is expanding uniformly in all directions. However, Hubble's observations were limited by the technology of his time and he could only see galaxies that were relatively close to us. He could not see the most distant and ancient galaxies which are beyond the reach of visible light. These galaxies emit light in the infrared spectrum which is invisible to human eye and most telescopes. To see these galaxies, we need a special telescope that can detect infrared radiation and that can operate in the cold and dark environment of outer space. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, is a joint project of NASA, ESA, and CSA, and it was launched on December 25, 2021. It is a successor of Hubble Space Telescope and it is designed to observe the infrared universe. It has a 6.5 meter primary mirror which is more than 6 times larger than Hubble's and it operates at a temperature of minus 233 Celsius which is colder than Pluto. It orbits around the Sun at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at a point called the second language point or L2, where it is shielded from the sun's heat and light by a large sun shield. The JWST has four main scientific instruments, the Near Infrared Camera or NIR Cam, which is the main imager and can see the early stars and galaxies, the Near Infrared Spectrograph or NIR Spec, which can analyze the spectra of hundreds of objects at once and measure their chemical composition, temperature, and motion. The Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, which can see the warmest and dustiest objects in the universe, such as star-forming regions and planetary systems. And the Fine Guidance Sensor and Near-Infrared Imager and Stiltness Spectrograph, or FGS and IRISS which can perform high precision astrometry and exoplanet detection. The JWST has been observing the universe for more than a year now, and it has already made some amazing discoveries. One of its main goals is to confirm the expansion of the universe by observing the redshift of distant galaxies. 
To do this, it uses a technique called photometric redshift, which estimates the redshift of a galaxy based on its color and brightness. JWST can measure the photometric redshifts of galaxies that are up to 13.6 billion light years away, which means that they form when the universe was only 200 million years old. These are the first galaxies and stars that ever existed, and they are the key to understanding the origin and evolution of the universe. The JWST has confirmed that these galaxies are indeed redshifted, and that their redshift increases with their distance. This means that they are moving away from us faster and faster, and that the universe is expanding. The JWST has also measured the rate of expansion of the universe, which is known as the Hubble constant. The Hubble constant tells us how fast the universe is expanding at the present time, and it is one of the most important parameters in cosmology. The JWST has found that the Hubble constant is about 70 km per second per mega per sec, which means that for every 3.26 meter light years of our distance, the universe is expanding by 70 km per second. This is constant with the previous measurements from the Hubble Space Telescope and other methods. The JWST has also confirmed the acceleration of the expansion of the universe, which is another major discovery of modern cosmology. The acceleration of the expansion of the universe means that the universe is not only expanding, but that it is expanding faster and faster over time. This implies that there is some mysterious force that is pushing the universe apart, and that it is stronger than gravity. This force is called dark energy, and it is one of the biggest mysteries of physics. The JWST has detected the effects of dark energy on the redshift of distant galaxies, and it has estimated that dark energy makes up about 70% of the total energy of the universe. The JWST has also revealed some surprising and intriguing details about the first galaxies and stars. The JWST has discovered some very massive and ancient galaxies in the early universe, which are challenging some of the models of galaxy formation and evolution. These galaxies are more than 10 billion times more massive than the Sun, and they found when the universe was less than a billion years old. They are also very bright and active producing new stars at a rate of hundreds of thousands per year. These galaxies are called high redshift quasars, and they are powered by supermassive black holes at their centers. The JWST has also detected some very faint and small galaxies, which are less than a million times more massive than the Sun, and they formed when the universe was only a few hundred million years old. These galaxies are called ultra-faint dwarf galaxies and they are building blocks of larger galaxies. The JWST has also observed some of the first stars that have formed, which are called Population 3 stars. These stars are very massive and hot, and they are made of pure hydrogen and helium. They are the sources of the first light and the first metals in the universe. In all, the JWST has confirmed the expansion of the universe by observing the redshift of distant galaxies. It has also revealed new and exciting details about the plus galaxies and stars. The JWST is a remarkable achievement of science and engineering, and it is opening a new window into the history and destiny of the universe. The JWST is expected to operate for at least 10 years, and it will continue to explore the infrared universe and make more discoveries. The JWST is truly a cosmic wonder, and we are very lucky to witness its amazing findings. Thank you for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep wandering.